first begin by asking you just to state your name. Dr. Joanne Pinkerton. And you are? Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology at the University of Virginia, Director of the Midlife Health Center. And you have a, lo a lot of interesting new data that has to do with bioidentical estrogens. And I wonder if you could share a little bit of some of the things you've been finding. Well, after the Women's Health Initiative in 2002, many women discontinued hormones. They were really frightened about the potential effects. And what we didn't know was that many women were changing to use custom compounded hormone therapy, non-FDA approved. And we did a survey, we actually did two surveys, and we're really surprised to find out that up to one and a half to two million women are probably using custom compounded hormone therapy. And that's important for us because it's not FDA approved. And if you remember the concerns about the contaminated intrathecal steroids, the whole issues of sterility, it raised the question of the lack of FDA monitoring of the custom compound in pharmacies. So we have a concern that women need to know whether or not they're taking these. And in the survey, we found that up to 86% of the women did not know whether the custom compounded products were FDA approved or not. So and this is just because the, the compounding pharmacies are making the hormones and, and putting them into the gel or whatever other material on, on site as opposed to going to a regulatory lab. That's correct. And, and a custom compounded product is ideal for someone who can't tolerate an FDA approved product, has a sensitivity, but our concern is that if women don't know that they're getting something that's not FDA approved, then that means they're not being educated about the potential unique concerns. And you suggested that one of the problems or one of the concerns was is that the dose that you are prescribed and believe you're getting may be different. How might that be? Well, a provider writes a prescription and so assumes that like an FDA approved product that that's exactly what the woman is getting. But More Magazine got 12 prescriptions for Triest from 12 different compounding pharmacies, sent it to a lab in Florida and found varying amounts of estrogen between 70 to 200 percent of the estradiol and only 60 percent of the dosed progestin, which then makes you at risk to either be overdosed or underdosed and potentially at risk for cancer. And that's a concern and women don't know that. They think they get a prescription and that that's exactly what they're getting. And so the question is, what is the role of the provider in trying to educate women about this? So what might a woman ask her doctor when she's given a, a bioidentical estrogen? What would be the kind of question or two that she might ask? So, so the first question is, is it FDA approved? And there are many FDA approved estrogen products, both estrogen and progestin, oral, patches, gels, rings, lotions. But if the provider says, no, it's not FDA approved, then the question would be, what are the risks? And so the concerns that NAMS has is that it's not FDA monitored, or regulated, and so therefore batch to batch consistency may not be the same. Um, you don't have the same um, FDA is not going in and overseeing the manufacturing process. And then this concern about underdosing, overdosing, and then also the fact that many women believe that these products are safer. They've been promoted on the internet as not causing cancer, mm -hmm. but in reality they're hormones. So they have the same risks as the FDA approved. They so just have unique risk. Yeah, so basically it's a pound of bricks or a pound of feathers, it's still a pound. Yes, and it's buyer beware. What are you getting? You're getting something that's FDA approved and monitored, or you're getting something that may be individualized, maybe what you need, but is not being monitored by the FDA. So they're not absolutely bad. It's just no. that you may be getting something that's fine, but beware, you may not. Correct, and they've not been tested in randomized clinical trials. And you don't only know not what you're getting, but exactly what it does and how safe it is. Thank you very much.